What's up guys, Dr. Ricky here, back with another YouTube video with The Bentist. What's up everybody? What's going on? Yo, listen, sometimes things go right with dental surgery or regular surgery, so we're gonna get into some botched procedures. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Okay. Oh, I see the little custom from here, the, uh... And so this is interesting. This is what they call at-home veneers. Like, they, you take a little scan, send it off. They're gonna give you the perfect veneers for like $10. It's just basically made of plastic mold. Unfortunately, as you can tell, it's not as good as what it actually looks like. There's a reasons why, you know, it takes a lot of skill and effort and time to make proper veneers and bridges and stuff like this. They actually use even porcelain and they actually paint it and stuff and make it look like a real tooth. It's pretty crazy stuff. So this is pretty nuts nice looking. Yeah, oh my god. Oh, the Berg Borgdorf twins or whatever. Oh yeah. Oh uh, man. Oh, that was yo. them rewind. Yo, check it out. So it's crazy to see these when these guys are younger and women too, and then they get older and they just blow their face up with so much filler and Botox that they don't even look human anymore. Wow. Okay, first off, I've had this question for a while. So I noticed that there is a trend in the plastic surgery world as like, especially older ladies for some reason tend to look more and more like lions almost yeah like they're just like big huge cheeks and chins like do they really not think they look good I, they have to look in the mirror and think they don't look good because i don't think they look good and i would never do that to somebody like blowing your face up there's a point in which you just got to be old i'm gonna say no to that nope no to that no, mm -hmm. no. Nope. so i had some dental work done today okay uh, it's like a lot of money later a couple hours later <laughs> this is why I don't like dentists or mechanics. If you're a dentist or a mechanic, why does this type of shit happen? Let me know. I guess this is where I step in, huh? Yep. So this is actually a temporary bridge. This isn't even the real final thing. So if you guys don't know, we prep the teeth. We make a little thing and just temporarily we put this little kind of plasticky looking fake teeth thing in until we can get the real bridge in to actually cement. And sometimes I'm not gonna lie, this happens. So we basically cement them in. They're normally made pretty quickly, kind of in the hour you're there at the clinic. And so sometimes the cement just doesn't stick. But luckily for him, all you gotta do is go back in, they put some more cement in and they drop it in. It's, it's not the fixed. Golden Gate Bridge, is it? No, it is not a Golden Gate Bridge. Nope. I, would, I wouldn't have had that happen to me if it was my bridge. No. It would have been a good bridge. Plastic surgery gone wrong. Uh-oh. Wait, that was... Say what? Oh, I thought that was him. Oh! oh. How? Oh. oh, there's the twins again. They look so much different when they were younger. Crazy. Yo, listen, I think that's the Catwoman, isn't it? The I one they call the Catwoman? I'm trying to figure out what plastic surgery do you guys do to widen somebody's face out like <laughs> twice as wide? When you put a gallon of filler in your face, there's nowhere for it to go, but that Way. Okay, so tell me, is there even a comeback from that? No, there's not. The problem is their skin gets so loose, they're trying to fill out a loose skin envelope. And like I said, man, just be old. Why can, or, or like, couldn't you just do like a skin lift? Well, I mean, you could do like a facelift on somebody, but that's not gonna give them volume. With a facelift, you gotta take skin off and give volume. So a combination of the two would be the way to go. But what they did, <laughs> Ugh. nope. You know, when you go Long to the dentist, you kind of hold to get your teeth you know, oh, some of the similar happen, color, yeah. getting crowns replaced, and I leave, and my teeth look like this. <laughs> what? It's not even close to the same color. <sighs> okay, yo. What was that black line at the top? Um, he, more than likely what they did was a gum uh, lasering. So they did some gum contouring and that's what it is. But guys, this actually does happen more frequently than you think. It's actually really hard to judge the shade of somebody's enamel. Whether they're dry, it can make it whiter. If you even are by the light of a window, it can make it look different. And you're using shade guides to try and match the shades. And if you guys have ever wanted, I'm gonna give you a little fun. This is gonna be really interesting for you. If you ever went to a dentist and seen this baby blue, basically shade everywhere. There, it's baby blue like these, the little tray covers are baby oh, yeah, blue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all like a light baby blue. Yeah. And the reason is, is that specific color we're supposed to look at and stare at for about 10 seconds before we try and shade match oh. because that specific color trains our eyes to go back to the truth. So it's very hard to get shades. That is pretty exorbitant as bad of a shade. That was a bad shade. That, was a bad shade. that was a bad shade. Normally like, we're talking we're talking barely off, not like that off. Like not even close. That one was botched. <laughs> she needs those redone. <laughs> but yeah, you guys are learning. This is me while I'm lying down. No bulges. 
You can see my abdomen is very flat. Nothing sticking up on the side. That's good. Right there, that looks pretty good to me right now. Okay. I've been botched from my plastic oh. surgeon. Yeah. Someone please help me. I'm not gonna lie, I have no idea what's going on. So what I would call botch, so she had a tummy tuck called a fleur de lis You know the fleur de lis like the, the fleur de lis yeah. yeah, so that's when we take horizontal and vertical skin out. That's cool, that's all good. What was botched there was her belly button looked like a long, pulled, straight thing. So if you look back at that, the belly button should be round. And hers is pulled tight and skinny. That's botched. You wanna check that out again? So check it out. Do you see how it's like crooked, first of all? I didn't even notice it, but yeah, it's like it's really long. long. And look how it's pulled thin and close. Is that, a, is that a belly button? Not good. Botched. I don't know, that's botched. Yeah. By the way, mm -hmm. the telltale sign of a, of a tummy tuck is the belly button. If you make those look good, you can't tell you had one. If you make them not look good, everybody knows you have one. There you go. It's all about that belly button, baby. <laughs> Guys, you have to promise not to make fun of me. Look at this. I just went to the uh, dentist yeah. and they numbed my Even face I know with two happening. doses. And now my face looks like I have a soak and I can't talk. And now I have to go in the mall and get my eyebrows done and <laughs> my face is like this. Like I can't even, my whole face is numb all the way up to my ear. And people are staring at me because I'm sitting in my car and I'm like, I can't go in here like yeah. this. So, it happens, man. I know this one. We use anesthetic, okay, yep. and the anesthetic makes nerves. So, one of our biggest ones is the inferior alveolar nerve block. It normally gets rid of all this stuff here, but it can make your lips numb sometimes. Sometimes, there's another nerve around the inferior alveolar nerve called the facial nerve. And that, <laughs> that basically controls all this stuff. And sometimes if you do too much, it really does look like you have a stroke, because it's the same concept as a stroke. Dude, we see it in facelifts. Sometimes when we're doing facelifts, if we get numbing around the nerve, when they wake up, they're like, and you're like, did I paralyze them? <laughs> no. Yeah. Luckily for you guys, it will go back to normal, and most of the time, it's not permanent. All right, guys, thanks for joining me here with the dentist. Ah. All right, good video here. Hey, listen. You guys know you can follow us on our social medias, The Real TikTok Doc, The Ventus. If you like my videos, like, comment, follow. For now, we out. See you guys. Peace. Peace.